What's up Guardians? Thanks for checking out the video. Today we'll be diving into the new world of Prismatic subclasses, and we'll be checking out one of the most exciting and most powerful Titan Prismatic builds that's currently available. So if you're a Titan trying to put together a top tier build to take on that legendary campaign, the new raid, or anything else in Destiny, then look no further. This build is loaded with an arsenal of overpowered attacks that will decimate your enemies while leaving you cool as a cucumber. The Prismatic subclass offers a lot of variety in your choices. It's almost like a buffet of light and darkness based abilities. And we'll be using a mixture of both of these to make this build as strong as possible. This is a very aggressive, in your face kind of build. You'll have the freedom to play from a distance, but this build strives under pressure, and the gameplay loop works much better when you're playing aggressively. This build revolves around the use of the Syntheseps exotic gauntlets, but it's not just limited to it. There are other strong exotic options out there, but very few others offer the same level of power and reliability. The Syntheseps comes with the Biotic Enhancements intrinsic trait which provides a 165% bonus to melee damage whenever we are surrounded by at least three enemies. We'll also gain an increase to glaive damage, so if you've got a strong glaive, this will be a great build to use it with. We'll be able to cash in on that increased melee damage by using a combination of the Frenzied Blades melee option, the Consecration aspect, and the Knockout aspect. Frenzied Blade will give us up to three charges of that strand melee attack. Frenzied Blade will unravel targets, and it will generate a tangle for us to use, so at any moment we could use one of these overpowered Frenzy Blade attacks, but with the use of Consecration, we could transform those into a devastating Solar Slam that scorches and ignites enemies. And with up to three charges available, we could perform as many as three back-to-back -back overpowered Consecrations. To spice things up a bit, the knockout aspect is going to grant us bonus health regeneration whenever we defeat enemies with a melee. We'll also become amplified in this process, giving us a boost in movement speed, weapon handling, and reload speed. Whenever we critically wound an enemy or break their shields with a melee, we'll gain an additional increase to melee damage, stacking on an extra 100% damage to any uncharged melee, and an extra 50% increase to powered melees. And this does stack on top of the bonus that Syntheseps will provide. So between our melee options, we can unravel, scorch, and ignite targets. And by adding in Glacier Grenades, we'll be adding a whole nother level of superiority. Because now, we can instantly freeze those enemies, and then just barrel in with those Frenzied Blades or Consecration Slams to put a quick end to anything that's standing. Glacier Grenades are such a key component with this build, because they'll lock your enemies in position, and they'll deal a ton of damage when they shatter but they can also be used as makeshift barricades, protecting you or allies from incoming fire and aggressive enemies. Before we talk about what fragments we have selected, let's discuss our choices in Super. We currently have Twilight Arsenal selected. This is such a fun new Super. You chuck those huge axes at enemies, and each of those axes are gonna deal a pretty good chunk of damage, and they're gonna weaken targets. And after you've thrown those axes, you or a teammate can easily pick them up and start using them. Blade Fury would be a good option towards crowd control, and Thunder Crash is great at burst damage, but Twilight Arsenal adds a really interesting dynamic into your gameplay, since you're literally giving your teammates weapons of mass destruction. When it comes to our choice in fragments, we are utilizing the facet of protection, so when we are surrounded by enemies, we'll take 25% less damage, which will really come in handy since we plan on being right in our enemy's face. And when we have activated our transcendence, that damage resistance from this facet will get stronger. We're using facet of balance, which is going to rapidly regenerate our abilities. Defeating targets with light-based energy will grant bonus melee energy, but defeating targets with darkness will grant bonus grenade energy. Since we're using a mix of both, we should be able to have pretty good uptime of all of our abilities, allowing you to spam those gameplay loops. We're using Facet of Purpose, so whenever we pick up an orb, we'll gain an overshield. This is because we are using the Twilight Arsenal as our super. 
if we were to use Blade Fury instead, we would get Woven Mail, and Hammer of Soul would provide restoration. Between the healing that Knockout will give, the resistance that Facet of Protection provides, and the extra overshield, we'll be able to become pretty indestructible as long as we're sticking to our gameplay loops. Since we are using a mixture of Solar and Stasis abilities, we have elected to use Facet of Ruin, and this will give us an increase to the size and damage that's caused when Stasis Crystals shatter and when Solar Ignitions are triggered, making that Glacier Grenade Consecration combo even more lethal. The last fragment that we're using is Facet of Dawn, and this will give us a significant increase to weapon damage. Whenever we strike an enemy with a charged melee attack, we'll gain Radiance for ourselves and teammates. This will grant a 20% bonus in weapon damage that stacks with any other bonus, and it'll give any weapon the ability to stun barrier champion shields. So not only do we have massively overpowered abilities, but we've got overpowered weapons too. And before we talk about what weapons we're using, I want to talk about what armor and armor mods that you'll want to use with this Prismatic Syntho build. Since Orb Collection will grant us an overshield, we want to create as many of those as possible. And this is why we're using Helmet Siphon mods, Heavy Handed Gloves mods, and the Reaper Class Item mod. And since we'll be spamming our abilities as much as we can, we'll need to equip a few armor mods that will help regenerate those abilities even faster. So using mods like Bomber, Outreach, Absolution, and Impact Induction will be really beneficial. We're already getting a good amount of health back thanks to Knockout, but to ensure that we always have a form of health, we're using the Recuperation Boots mod. When it comes to the character stats that you should be focusing into, Resilience is going to be the most important, and beyond that, Strength and Discipline, so that way we can have our grenade and melee abilities charging up as fast as possible. And now let's talk about those weapons. Since we plan on being up close and personal, with as many enemies as possible, a shotgun with one-two punch could bring you a lot of benefits. Since ignitions and shattering effects will cause bonus damage, it would be advantageous to load up on a few weapons that can facilitate this. Fusion rifles like the Riptide offer Chill Clip, giving you another option of freezing enemies, and solar weapons with Incandescent would give us that Scorch that we need for ignitions. With Pulse Rifles getting buffed this season, I found the Outbreak Perfected and the Graviton Lance to be magnificent primary options because of their ability to hit multiple targets at once. But a Kinetic Pulse Rifle with Kinetic Tremors could be just as effective. Rocket Sidearms are also going to be a strong option, especially when you have Unstoppable Champions. And currently you have the option of two of these, the Indebted Kindness or the Call. When it comes to our choice in Heavy, there's a ton of solid options right now. Grenade launchers like the Edge Transit would be great to have for any damage phase, but with the new artifact focusing heavily on swords, there's only one true option for a Titan, and that's the Crown Splitter or the Throne Cleaver. These are Titan's most powerful sword options, and because of that new artifact, they'll have bonus damage, they'll stun Overload Champions, and they'll regenerate ammo. Swords like the Fallen Guillotine or the Slammer would also be strong alternates. Another interesting prospect is the Ergo Sum, which has become quite the interesting new exotic. An energy sword that would allow us to do something that we've never been able to do, and that's run double sword loadouts. And this sword can give your entire team a massive bonus in damage, if you're able to get the Galahorn's Wolfpack rounds as its intrinsic trait. No matter what weapons you pair up with this Prismatic Syntho build, you're going to have all the power that you need to dominate in the final shape. So if you've been having issues completing those legendary campaign missions, or anything else, then try checking out this amazing new Titan build, and let the power of the prismatic energies flow through you. And with that said, I wish you all the best of luck out there, especially to those trying the Day 1 Raid Challenge tomorrow. Are you going to be trying your hand with the Day 1 Raid Challenge? Let us know down in the comments below, and let us know your thoughts about the new prismatic builds, and what build you found to be the strongest. Let us know down in the comments. To those that need extra help in getting this build set up, you can visit the Destiny Item Manager link, which is found in the description. You'll also find a link for this build at Mobilytics. This is actually the very first build that we'll be uploading to Mobilytics. But if you need any further help, be sure to check out either of those links down in the description. 
Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new light guardian, just starting your journey, or a battle hardened veteran, just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.